the two roommates, Dylan and Bethany, that were on the first floor of their rental home in King Road, survived the attack. They were ruled out very soon, as being suspects. Would they ruled out too soon, who knows. No suspects have been named yet in this horrific crime, and I can't believe the person responsible is still on the loose. The two surviving roommates shared public statements for the first time, at the memorial service for the Idaho students, who were killed in the home. A youth pastor named Chris at Real Life Ministries, where the service was held, read Dylan Mortensen's letter first, which began by describing Zana's and Ethan's loving relationship. Zana and Ethan the two best friends but perfect pair together. They had this unstoppable, loving relationship. They both look at each other with so much love. Everyone knew they were the perfect duo. They both had this fun, passionate, crazy but good energy. They both were the kind of people who cared about everyone and would help anyone. She described Zana as the life of the party, but also as strong, intelligent, hardworking and a people person. Dylan went on to describe Madison and Kaylee as an inseparable duo. The pair were described as happy people who enjoyed life to the fullest. They were responsible and hard-working young women, but also knew how to have fun and appreciate the small things. Bethany said she wishes she could give each of her roommates one last hug and tell them how much she loved them. Police have not mentioned any kind of motive in the quadruple murder. Students are able to stay home and learn remotely if they wish, while the suspect or suspects are still out there.